हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अनुजा श्रीवास्तव एंड टुडे आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ केमिस्ट्री एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज एयर एंड एटमोसफियर पार्ट वन सो दैट मींस आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द एयर एज वेल एज अबाउट द एयर सो एयर एवरी इज नोइंग अबाउट द एयर एयर इज द थिंक विच is the mixture of gases that means it is the mixture of gases and the dry air the dry air it contains the different different gases and that gases are the maximum amount of the nitrogen that means in the atmosphere the maximum amount of nitrogen is there that is approximate 78.09 percent is second maximum number is of the oxygen that is about 28.95 percent Sorry, twenty point nine five percent. Okay, next is the argon. It is present in the atmosphere in the uh, small amount that is zero point nine two percent. And then carbon dioxide and the mixed gases, CO two, and mixed gases. approximate 0.04 percent is and except these the dust as well as the water vapor are also present in the atmosphere and that is in the variable amount that means ki unka jo amount hota hai variable hota hai jahan par dust particle zyada hai pollution zyada hai wahan dust ke particle zyada honge jahan kam hai wahan kam honge that means they are in the variable amount okay now as we are discussing about the air and the atmosphere so we must also know about the atmosphere that means what is atmosphere so atmosphere is nothing it is just our earth jo hamari earth hai this earth this is just surround by the blanket of the atmosphere hamari earth ke charo aur ek protection layer hoti hai that protection layer protect as the earth and that blanket is known as the atmosphere okay now as we are discussing about the air so first i am just going to discuss about the all the components all the composition of the air so first i am just going to discuss with all of you about the nitrogen so as previously i told you in the beginning of the video that nitrogen is the gas which is present in the abundant amount in the atmosphere and this nitrogen gas it was discovered by daniel rutherford in 1772 that means the scientist daniel rutherford discovered the nitrogen gas in 1774 and this nitrogen was named in the year 1700 yeah so, 72 1794 that means ki discovery daniel rutherford mein 1772 mein kari uska naam rakha gaya 1790 form now this nitrogen gas it is very very important for the growth of plants and animals it is also a important component of the chlorophyll it is constituent of chlorophyll which is a pigment present in the green leaves 
now it is also important for the proteins uh, component in the animals and the plant that means it is also the important component of protein in the animal that's why this nitrogen is very very important now let us see that how nitrogen is just prepared in the laboratory that means the lab preparation of the nitrogen so in the lab the nitrogen is prepared by passing air over the hot copper gauge it is prepared by passing air over hot copper gauze in closed container in closed container okay and what happened over here the copper is combined with the oxygen in the air and copper oxide and nitrogen in form that means ye jo copper hai ye air ke sath combine karegi which is present in the air and it is going to form copper oxide and also it is going to leave the nitrogen gas so let us going to write the equation this is the copper it is going to react with the atmospheric oxygen where the nitrogen amount is also present so it is just going to form the copper oxide that means the c u o and leaving behind the nitrogen okay so this type of reactions takes place in the preparation of the nitrogen now let us see whatever the uses of the nitrogen let me where the nitrogen is utilized and why uses okay so nitrogen is widely utilized for the packaging item that means it is non toxic hence it is utilized for packing the item packing the chips and the food items okay it is also utilized for manufacturing chemicals now what types of chemicals are just manufactured by the this so it is utilized for manufacturing the ammonia nh3 is the ammonia and how this ammonia is prepared so this ammonia is prepared by when nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen this is the ammonia and how it is manufactured nitrogen is going to react with the hydrogen in the presence of iron as a catalyst as well as the high pressure and approximate 400 degree 450 degree celsius temperature so they are just going to form the ammonia nh3 which is known as the ammonia okay so this process is known as the haber bosch process this process is known as haber bosch process that means ammonia is commercially and widely produced by the haber bosch process okay now let us see other just uses other uses of the and how the other chemicals are formed by the nitrogen so it this ammonia is also utilized for making of the urea which is a fertilizer okay it is also utilized for forming the tnt which is known as a trinitrophenol and it is also utilized for making of the trinitroglycerin tri nitro 
glycerin which is tng these both are used as explosive it is also utilized for making of the dye and it is also utilized in the medicine manufacturing okay and that means these are some uses of the nitrogen that how the nitrogen is widely used some other uses of also of nitrogen are there that is the renewal of nitrogen but that i will discuss in the next part of this uh, chapter okay so please watch the video and try to understand the things and i will meet with all of you in the next video till then bye bye thank you